<laughs> Hello. Look, look like we're all prepared and we weren't just rushing around like lunatics to do this. <laughs> oh, are we late? Oh, no. Uh, What's four minutes between friends, right? I think that you lost track of time. You were busy looking stuff up. I always lose track of time. Timekeeping is not my strength. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. welcome. <laughs> Hello, good evening and welcome. And this is the news. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <sighs> welcome to our Sunday thing that we do. Uh, that was Jeff leaving the house, not on his own. <laughs> Although he's, he's wanted to today. He's like, oh, and put that comb back on my head. And they haven't walked me. And, uh, and now I've had to wait ages for my food. <laughs> He he is Kona Shame Dog. Um, yeah, he's going back to the vets tomorrow. He is okay. Don't worry. He's fine. He has a problem that he's taking antibiotics for, and he had to wear a comb because he was irritating a certain part of his body. <laughs> yes. Um, and <laughs> you make that sound very... <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Ambiguous. Um, yeah. Um yeah, but he's fine. It's just I had to I have to time his food to when he's supposed to take his medication. So I made it because I wanted to be prepared to come and do this. <clears throat> but then he thought I was going to give it to him straight away. And then, <laughs> and of course, I had to give it to him at the last minute because normally I, I try, try and time it for around eight o'clock. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome. Yeah, good to see you. As the title may suggest, we actually went to a boot sale. <laughs> yeah. We weren't going to buy anything. <laughs> we went to a boot sale at the end when they were packing up yeah, literally. and still came away with quite a bit of stuff. We, we said, we're just going to go and have a little walk around just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. And we said this to a few stall holders. They had a right laugh as we walked off with loads of their stuff. <laughs> anyway. We didn't even um, take a bag in. No, no. It was nice to go to a boot sale. We, we have been avoiding them because we find it very easy to buy a lot of stuff at boot sales. And we are imminently moving house. We don't quite have a date yet, but things are speeding up with that. It feels like it's happening soon. In the next few weeks, I think. So if anything, we don't need to source properly, don't need to. You were saying Matt, perhaps we don't source yeah, at all until I, we move yeah, now. I was saying that mate, that might be the best idea. Incredibly sensible things to come <laughs> out of your mouth. Um, um, I, I feel like I've got enough to keep going. Yeah, we need to focus weeks. on shifting stuff, so we may not be sourcing for the next few weeks. So what we may do in this slot is have a couple of auctions, because we've been talking about doing live auctions, so we're talking about doing that in the next couple of weeks, aren't yeah. we? Um, we'll get on to that in a minute. But we are live. If you are watching us live, you can say hello, as did Ben was first today. Oh, Ben. Ben was very kind and sent us a printer. Oh, yeah. I think we shared it last week. We did. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you know Jack, Jack Parrish, who uh, has an Instagram. I think he shared his has an Instagram and he has a YouTube and channel. a YouTube. Yeah, very good YouTube channel. Um, I think he shared it on Instagram because I saw the post. That printer is now Jack's. Um, he got in touch. He was in need of a printer and um, I provided it for him. So that's gone to Jack. I don't know if Jack's in, but that was, yeah, perfect. And thanks again, Ben. That was incredibly generous of you. Uh, we have Ken with us, evening. Adrian, good evening from sunny Chippenham. Still sunny there, is it? It's been well, nice it's here. It's sunny here now. It was raining earlier while you were asleep. I had, I had a nap. Oh, I didn't have a lot of sleep and needed a nap. Oh, I think we all had a nap. Oh, did we? Ellen and, <laughs> Ellen and Jeff were sharing a cushion on the sofa. <laughs> That's <Cozy>. quite amusing. <laughs> and then I fell asleep next to them and you were asleep upstairs. Yeah, naps were in order. Uh, Peter Ray, welcome, mate. And Leanne, good to see you. We'll say a few more hellos. Evening, Nick, Andrea, and chat from sunny St. Neots. Not too far from That's us, then. It's not too far, no. Maria is in. We have Jason, good to see you. Uh, there's Steve, hello. Um, yeah, a few more. It's Hammond Bell from sunny, hopefully, Scotland. <laughs> Uh, and Vic is in. Oh, it's just jumped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's a lot of chat. Vic. There we go. Evening, peeps. Any home runs this weekend? Well, that leads us on mm -hmm. to sharing yes. stuff. 
If I missed any comments or hellos, I can't read them all out. Um, hi, Angela. Hi, Once Love Treasures. Hi, Chris. Hello, everybody. I'm going to whiz to the end. There's a long comment there. Is that a question? Oh, look. Once Love Treasures. Jumble Trail. Ah. First Jumble Trail here, here in Ayrshire. That's good to know that they're doing them up in Scotland. That is Scotland, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I'm I don't fine. know. Air? Not, yeah. Not the best at um, geography. I feel like it is. <laughs> I think they need lessons on hosting. Hardly anyone taking part with hardly anything for sale. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a start then. Yeah. But right, they need, okay. Need to be improved upon. <laughs> Set up your own one and show them how to do it. There you go. <laughs> um, high five for Jeff. Yeah, he's just gone out for a walk, so he may not be appearing. Right. Oh, Lee's in. Hello, Lee. I was chatting Hello. with Lee earlier. He's yeah. had some amazing yeah, Lee's had a finds. Good weekend, isn't he? To say he's had some good pickups, understatement. So, oh, there's another. Uh, wanted to say thank you. Do you want to read that out for yourself? Oh. Hang on. Wanted to say thank you, Andrea. I watched your latest video yesterday and then saw exact same teapot in the charity shop today. Would have walked straight past it, but not seen your video. Oh, fab. Uh, yeah, and I made a mistake with that as well, and I keep thinking about it because stall messaged where well, I left a comment on the, oh, the aluminium teapot uh, yeah and I called it stainless steel mm. and it's not stainless steel I meant so to I feel like a bit of an umpty but there we are I meant to say to you earlier the quickest way to find that out is a magnet because aluminium is not magnetic okay. although stainless steel isn't <laughs> mm, that won't help me much then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure stainless steel isn't either it's, it's got a particular name like um, um magluminium or something like that they, it's a mixture of something and, and aluminium. oh here you go with your facts again um yeah so now i've learned that so i shall have to share that fact with everyone else so you can learn oh, so it's too. not aluminium it's something else it's a mixture of aluminium and something but i can't oh. remember what exactly he said it's in the comments under the video anyway we've got all the but, facts yeah, i feel a bit of an empty to set because i just assumed i think Mm. it was but it's not so we have a haul we went actually mm. out to a, a jumble trail as we were just talking about the one in scotland that wasn't so good we went to one today we knew was tiny yeah it, it was in nebworth as in nebworth the festival village uh is that what it's now, known that, as now that's the wider public <laughs> think of nebworth as oh nebworth festival yeah, you know the gigs nebworth house oasis and <laughs> yes that Nebworth, yeah. um, right next to well, I used to live next door to Nebworth in Thatchworth, kind of neighbouring village, and we used to listen to the gigs from from our yeah. house. And sometimes when the wind blows, you can hear them. You from can hear our them house. here. Yeah. That's how close Nebworth is yeah. to us. Um, anyway, <laughs> none of that's relevant. Uh, we knew there were only six stalls, yeah. um, but because we're not sourcing, we thought that's about yeah. right. And also, it's just down the road from us. It's an affluent village, mm. so we thought we'd go for it. Um, and we did. So we are going to share some yeah, stuff. Just hamster nibblers talking about strange things there. Yeah. We we watched it all in one go. I said, we're just going to watch the first part, and then we'll watch the second part on mm. Saturday. <clears throat> um, and then at two in the morning, we're still sat there watching it. We couldn't couldn't leave it. It was like, no, no, no need to find out what's going to happen now. <laughs> I thought the end, well, it was obviously a lead on to the next series. But it was a bit, really? I can't give anything away, but it was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. What? Wasn't it? A little bit. A little bit, bit yeah. Because it didn't really conclude anything. Mm, yeah. Yes, Lee confirming. Yes, epic day at the boot sale. I spent all of the £314 I bought with me. Wow. Then had to borrow a further 40 from reseller James. <sighs> now, that's becoming a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Borrowing money off other YouTubers. <laughs> At like boot sales or reset or yeah. both, yeah, yeah, because James does videos. Um, yeah, excellent. Yeah, I'm sure good. you will share some in your. He's still doing hauls. I'm struggling to keep up with other people's videos, but yeah, Lee has a channel. If you don't follow it, you should. Right, let's stop waffling and share stuff. Yeah. So for the jumble trail, I really only bought stuff for ourselves, and I haven't bought that into show really. <laughs> because I bought stuff for. Well, you, that's not for us. We're not going to. No. That. Oh well, no. <laughs> I mean, mostly. We, mostly I bought there, stuff for just for the house. I bought a lampshade and some bedding. <laughs> and uh, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought like a, a lantern thing with, with with a candle in it. But yeah, we bought one of these. I was surprised. Oh, I'm just going to take Lee's comment down. Um, just put hide. Oh. Hide? Is there a hide button? Yeah, there was at the top. It said hide. Oh, uh, Peter's saying hi, Susan. <laughs> um 
I was surprised this Minecraft duvet set is a double. When Andrea was at one end of the stall and picked it up. Yeah, and I And thought... I was like, no, yeah, it's not going to be a double. You're like, it is. But adults are into... I thought it was strange. Minecraft, to right. To be a double, to be honest. So we bought that and from the same stall. Yeah, I bought the lampshade from her as well. Oh, a gorgeous, great big lampshade. So, yeah. To go with our... We've got... you. Know, if you've seen videos from last year or the year before, I don't know, we've got like a, a vintage standard lamp, like a wooden one. Um, so, and we're going to use that for the new house. And I've been looking for a, a decent lampshade for it. Yeah. And it's an Ikea one, but it's brand new and it's still in its package. Brand new sealed. Uh, really so. nice. And it's also got the clever little mount that you can mm. flip. So it goes on a standard lamp or as a ceiling. What's yeah. it? So it's, we could do either. So we bought, anyway, that, which we're going to use, this. We're not Minecraft fans. We're not going to be using that. <laughs> no, that'd be um, a bit weird, I think. And I don't think that would go in the Airbnb <laughs> we're going to create. Think it would, no. You could have yeah. a themed Airbnb, <laughs> which was our original plan, but not Minecraft themed. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. We were going to do themed stuff. We were, yeah. I don't think we are now. I don't think it's going to fit with the, the building itself now. So, also, oh, yeah. So, Limelight Binti says lots of teens have double beds now. That is true. That is true. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Ellen does at uni, doesn't she? Is hers a double? Hers is a small double. Oh, uni. a small double. But when we move into the new house, she will be having a double bed. She's not a teen anymore. She's now an adult, which blows my mind. But <laughs> she will be having a double bed. Mm. Anyway. Um, but yes. she won't want Minecraft. <laughs> she wouldn't, although she did used to she play did, a lot of Minecraft. Like Minecraft, actually, yeah. Um, at the same stall, two pounds a complete set of Little Miss. Two pounds. Very rarely did you do you see it that cheap. And two pounds uh, a complete set of Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Men. Um, and one of the, I had a quick peek in, and. Yeah, that is the complete 50. This one, the Little Miss, they have also squeezed in all of those special editions at the top there. Look. So that's quite cool. I love Mr. Men books. And there was a third set. Here we go. Oh, A Day in the Life of Pete says, my 10-year-old son has a double bed. He would love that Minecraft set. Oh. Oh, there you go. Well, if you have one, <laughs> if you're in the market, drop drop one of us a message on Instagram. Um, we'll sort you out. And the pizza, I sold this so many times, it never sticks around. Really nice condition set. So, we had the lampshade, which if we were going out to buy one for our new house, we probably would have spent 15 20 quid on it. The lampshade, which is brand new, the Minecraft set, which is brand new, and three really nice sets of books, 12 quid the lot. We were all over that. I did ask her about a Star Wars Monopoly as well, and she mm. wanted 15 on the board. I was like, oh, you can keep that. And, yeah, well, <laughs> which I looked that? up when I got home because she thought it was a really, you know, expensive collectible one. It's really not. They're only selling for about a tenner. Mm. So, oh, well, anyway. Never mind. I, I imagine she didn't sell that. <laughs> I doubt it, but you never know. So never that know. was maybe the first stall we were at. No, mm. second stall we were at. The first stall, I got some video games, didn't I? Yeah. And a skateboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was nice. I chatted to the lady. She bought a skateboard for herself so because fun. her and her partner got into surfing. And she said, well, I picked up this little board because I was told it would help me with my balance and with Thank you, Jonathan. surfing. Or oh, is that a, a, super, <laughs> a sticker? super sticker? Which we can't see weirdly on um, on StreamYard, but appreciate it. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, cheers, Jonathan. Good to see you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, she bought a skateboard for herself to, to help with her balance for her surfing that she started doing with her partner. Didn't get on with the skateboarding. <laughs> then I had a conversation with her because I, I used to be in skating in the 80s. I'm that old. And I re-bought a skateboard about a decade ago, didn't I? And... Um, Got rid of it in the end because I feared I was really going to hurt myself. <laughs> but I did pick up. It's just a little penny board, really. It's a uh, land surfer. 
but hardly seen any use. It looks like she went out on it once and then got scared. And and, and well, she said she couldn't balance on it or something. She didn't get on with it. So it's like new condition with its carry case. So I grabbed that. That was the first stall. And I think with the discount that came to about three quid, I think, was it? Do you remember? Something like that, because we got a deal. And also there was some PS4 bits. Um Rocket League, League, which doesn't have much value, five, six pounds, I think. The, the young chap actually said, oh, you don't need to pay for that because it's a free download now. I'm like, okay. Uh, Ghost Recon is really not worth much. I quickly checked about a fiver. And this, which is Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, is about a 10 pounds game. Those were worked out with the all in kind of a couple of quid for those a lot. Yeah. What else did I get there? Oh, it was a Zumba. A Zumba set. <laughs> yes, it was. There's not a great deal in these, but I find they fly out. Three DVDs, the bonus DVD, the instructions, and the doodlies. Jonathan says that you've listed the football boots as football books. Have I? <laughs> Have I really? <laughs> That's fantastic. No wonder they're not flying off the shelves. Was that listing at two in the morning or something? Probably. <laughs> we we listed, well, we picked up some football boots when we were out walking. We we uh, we took Jeff on one of his long walks and there's a house that is constantly putting stuff out to let people take away. It's a great way of recycling. We're going to do the yeah, same when we same. when we move. We're, we're starting to do that yeah. now. Um and I picked up these football boots and found out they were really quite decent ones. I think I put them on at 50, 50 or 60 quid yeah. and called them books, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some offers on those and not taken anybody up on the offers yet. I'm holding out, um, perhaps foolishly. Right. So, yeah, and we paid, I don't know what, something like a ten of the lot. No, it was less than that, wasn't it? I don't, even remember. I don't remember because I bought some Kath Kidston bags as well. Oh, yeah, there was um, some canvas ones. They're really filthy and stained. So I'm hoping that soaking them in a bath of vanish is going to to bring them up nicely. So yeah. I don't know. They might be just used for us for 50p each or I might sell them. I feel I like maybe know. we spent eight quid on everything. Yeah. Anyway. So the first stall, they're okay, but there's no no home runs there. The next stall, we got that. Oh, a day in the life of Pete's just messaged you on Facebook. What regard, regarding that? Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, and then what else did we get at the Jumble Trail? Oh, we we found I know Nebworth really well because it was I, I grew up down there and I used to cycle from my village to Nebworth to catch the train into London. I used to go to gigs all the time as a teenager, so. And we were always in the village doing stuff. And I know it. I know. I feel like I know all the streets there. Not by name, but I can get my way around. But we found a street, a really lovely street by near the station, all old Victorian cottages. I've never oh, been there. Oh, it was so nice, wasn't it? And right down the end of that was a stall. The only thing we bought there was this. This is a little bit interesting. It's a Wolfcraft wood doweling set. So it's like a jig. So you can... Hold your wood in the right position and, and drill the dowling holes for for jointing, right? Does that make sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's basically glorified clamps to hold your wood in the right position to drill the holes so you can joint it with dowels. Uh, did that help? <laughs> no. There you go. Look, there you go. One of them. Anyway, it was a fiver. It's brand new in the box. Um, couldn't find exactly the same, but I'm thinking about £30 back on that, maybe more. Is it brand new? Brand new. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not... The tape that is holding these little things in here has yellowed with age. It's new old stock, but it has never been out of the box. Um, so that was that. Oh. What did you, what well, did um, we I've only, all I've got sitting next to me is things from the boot sale, so I'm waiting to finish jumble trail stuff. <laughs> and then, um, 
Oh, uh, Bits and Rob says, hi, guys. First Jumble Trail for me today. Shocked at how many bargains there were to be had. Yeah. Wow, that's a contrast with the Scottish one we were told about earlier, which wasn't great, and they came away empty-handed. They are like anything. Um, yeah, hit and miss. Hit and miss. Yeah. That's a good way yeah. of describing it. Um, when you do yeah. what we find, when you do well at a jumble trail, you you hit the jackpot. Um, and sometimes, yeah, like a boot sale, sometimes you come away and they're not great. But I'm glad yeah. you did well. That's fantastic. Um, right, I'm I'm not sure what was from where now. Ah, the last store we went to. Remember, there was only six at this event. It was actually in a different village. Yeah, and we nearly didn't go because um, at the last one in Nebworth, um, the lady there was a lady there that was saying I should just come from it, and they weren't set up. So we were like, oh well, maybe we won't bother. And then we decided to go to the boot sale, didn't we? Um, but because we were Going past it, we said, oh, you know, you said, well, let's just have a look just to see. And it was there. <laughs> <coughs> so maybe they just set up late. I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> I do apologise. I get reactions to dust and it's <clears throat> flying around the air. Uh, where do you find news about jumble sales? If you're talking about jumble trails, which is what we're talking about, where lots of houses have yard sales, um, Facebook is a good place to yeah. search. Uh, Google is a good place to start. Um, we have lots of friends that tip us off about them because they know us through YouTube and stuff, and, and we get told about a lot. And I know I've been banging on about this blimmin' app forever, but that is hopefully going to be a place you can go and find out about these events once we launch because you are able to create them on there and share the sales. Um, but, yeah, Facebook is a good place to start searching. Um, what is it with Kath Kid Kidston? It's actually is it a hitching thing? I don't see any of that sort of thing in or around Portsmouth. I think it's countrywide, really. She's just mm. very popular. Yeah, it's, it's a popular shop, a popular brand. Um, her designs are popular, so I don't know. yeah, Lindsay is finding it down that way, apparently. Yeah, uh, I think it's everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Neil. I don't know yeah, if you're over you're feeling, COVID. Yeah, yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Neil. Uh, do you, did you find football stuff at the Jumble Sale or Trail? Um, yeah, certainly people do. It's not really something I'm, I tend to buy. I don't know much about it. These football boots I've listed are a bit of a one-off for me. Um, uh, it's going to be on your phone. Um, it's going to launch on Android first. Uh, we had a really successful meeting on Friday. I have the latest version in my Android phone. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Um, it is. They were working on a couple more fixes, and we are starting the Google Play application as we speak. So it's all happening. And then the Apple is going to come after that. The Apple version. That is. Uh, right. <clears throat> um, so boot sale. No, actually, the last store we went to, it was a, it was really interesting. We chatted to this couple for at least half an hour. I was just going to highlight Neil's comment. He said, I haven't been too affected, a bit nauseous a couple of days ago, but generally, oh, that's good. Fabulous. That's good. That's what you want. <laughs> oh, reseller Bob. I did a video. It's coming out tomorrow. Watch this space. Oh. German packaging. Is it really that confusing? Watch my video and find out tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we met this couple at the last store we went to, and they were lovely. And we talked to them, not even exaggerating, for half an hour. Yeah, they were so nice. We had so much in common because this this guy was an ex-police officer, and boy, did he have a career. Yeah. Oh, he he went right the way through the ranks, all the way up to he was like special protection for for. Royalty. Prime Ministers and royalty, yeah. that <laughs> sort so of, amazing. you know, and to say he had, must have some stories. Yeah. And they were they were selling their house, um. So we had a lot in common, lots to talk about with that procedure. And then their son is an animator, and I said that's bizarre. I'm, I'm actually a trained animator. I'm, I've got a degree in animation. So we talked about am animating and art school and all of that for a while. And then there was something else we had in common. I can't even remember what the last bit was that we were chatting about. Um, well, she was a nurse. 
Yeah. So we were talking about that because obviously we've got nurses in the family and yeah. Oh, just... a local chap that both he and I knew we, we oh, were right. talking about. Oh. Um, yeah, it was just fascinating. Anyway, we bought, what did we buy off them? Oh, yeah. Comed well, I, I actually remembered to ask. Well, did... she did say, I haven't put everything out. So if there's anything that you're looking for, let me know. She said, anything particularly after us. Right. Oh, yes. Do you have any video games? Uh, particularly vintage stuff, Game Boy, Nintendo, that sort of thing. She said, oh, yeah. I think I've got a, what's it called? A Commodore somewhere. My eyes lit up. I'm like, oh. She said, well, if I take your number, um, my son's had loads of this stuff and we do need to clear out because we're moving house. I'm like, oh, OK. So we actually left my number. And then she said, yes, this Commodore thing, I'll, I'll go and I think I know where that is. So I'm left, left standing thinking, I hope it's an Amiga or a Commodore 64 or whatever. What it actually was, was just a tape deck, which is nice, but... You know, it, it's 10 to 15 pounds worth of Commodore tape deck as long as it's working. But really nice condition and nice to see it. But there was no computer, no console. Whether it turns up and we get a phone call, I don't know. Um, but I ended up with that and a bunch of software. These are nice because they're in the actual Commodore cases. You see where it's got the actual Commodore there? So we've got four of those. I did try and look these up. I saw, I think it might have been this one. I saw somebody had got £10 on that one. I have four in these really nice chunky Commodore boxes. I might do a little bundle of those. Um, this got me excited because it says Commodore 64 game cartridge. Now, have that on your radar. There was a cartridge version of the Commodore. And the cartridges are really, it didn't really take off, shall we say. So they're uncommon or rare. And sadly, this does not have the cartridge in the box. <laughs> it had, it felt like it did, but it had these two cassettes in. So I'll probably sell the box with its instructions, a nice little ocean bag as is. But yeah, that was a shame. Yeah. But yeah, Commodore cartridges, keep your eyes peeled. Commodore 64 stroke 128 cartridge missing. Mm. Um, but weirdly, there were two discs in there. Just generic floppies. Who remembers these? Proper floppies. Look at that. Weren't they five? Five, were they five and a half, were they, the size? I don't know. Am I making that up? Hang on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five, just over five inches that way. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a nice little find. Um, but I did get excited that I was hoping an Amiga was going to come out of the house. Or a Commodore 64. Or 64, yeah. yeah. That would have been lovely. Did you have a Commodore 64? Mm. Yeah. So let's put that away. Well, Neil says, um, hang on, it's just disappeared. Yeah, that's not what he said. Um, he says, Commodore calculators are flipped from a quid to over a couple of hundred. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. You can get Sinclair little, uh, I think they did calculators as well and little gadgets, and those are so collective. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Leanne. If the couple are going to phone, they might have missing items in their house still. Missing items, what, well, as in the Commodore? As in the game from the box. Oh, potentially, yeah. <laughs> she said there's computer stuff everywhere. Oh, the other thing I bought from them, they had a box full of magazines, a lot of PC ones that I left. But I did grab like a stack for a pound. Oh, yeah. And these are worth knowing, actually. Um, retro gamer Ooh. magazines. Interestingly, I've got issue one uh, there. So this is a modern thing, but it's talking about old games. Um, so what year were they? these issued? Are they 90s? No, no. Oh. 2004. Oh, all right. Um, I saw a listing of, I think it was issues one, two, three, four, five, six that went for about £80. I've got one. 
So I've got one, two, five, seven, and ten, or something, or maybe more. So yeah, individually you can sell them, particularly the earlier ones as well. But I'll probably bundle. So they were nice. Uh, oh, Peter Ray's got loads of the retro gamer oh, magazines cool. in his collection. Excellent. Yeah, I will probably read them or at least flick through them in the evenings before I sell them because they're, they're really interesting. Some white dwarf, but they are pretty modern ones. Um, and another, I think this is a different franchise, though, just retro. Very cool thing. So, yeah, that stack for a pound was a nice pickup. And I bought some bedding. <laughs> Uh, yeah there's a theme <laughs> but that is for us isn't it yeah yeah a new double duvet i think for our guest room in the new house is the plan all right yes okay um oh and we also <laughs> i bought a family of or well, sort of a family of these i've not really had that what well, no we did have some once didn't we and we sold like a pair or something I grabbed these because these are uh, tagged. I briefly looked up. This is the evil parsnip. Do you remember Kevin the carrot, the Aldi thing? Um, I thought, you know, this is the evil guy. He's tagged. Maybe that was a bit of a rarity. Probably go up at Christmas, but currently about a tenner. So <laughs> hardly worth it. But there's also a tagged Katie. And the kevin that we all remember very smart so tagged as a pair they might go quite well i will probably keep these till christmas yeah they'll go better at christmas uh, this one may be destined for the bin because i think she landed in the christmas dinner <laughs> i could try soaking it with the bags i think that may be beyond but have a go sure um and there was a tiny one He's so cute. Look at that one. He's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so what did I pay her? £10 or so, maybe just over a tenner, was it, on everything? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but we, we thoroughly enjoyed chatting with the couple for, <laughs> for ages. Susan says, parsnips are not evil. I agree, I like parsnips. Oh, I, yeah, my favourite Christmas dinner vegetable, to be perfectly honest. Um but he was evil in the in the advert, wasn't he? I don't even remember the advert, really. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because you don't watch much telly. <laughs> um, so that was that. Standard. 50p each, they were coming home. This was one of your bags. You bought a, a bunch of oh, these. Yeah. So I bought the four. Not, they're all different patterns. But yeah, it's really, really filthy <laughs> they are going through the wash but it's kath kidston i mean these might be kept if not sold on are you, or were you thinking to sell i don't know I, I might keep one or two they're good quality ones yeah really I mean, nice special they're just tesco's but they're obviously all limited type things so. yeah i wouldn't be surprised if there's a resale market for these though yeah. if anybody knows are the kath kidston tesco bags worth reselling it says there Designed by Kath Kidston to raise funds for Marie Curie. Oh, okay. So it was a charity campaign at some point. Look. Interesting. They came in handy because we didn't really go prepared. So no. we were using the bags we'd bought as we went round. And then we went to the boot sale and... Oh, apparently, um, Hitchin was on London News this week showing the beautiful lavender fields, says Teresa. Yes, that's just down the road from us. We have been there a couple of times. Last time we were up there, they did that pumpkin patch thing. Yeah. That's a weird concept to me. They, <laughs> they, they don't grow pumpkins there. They just lay them around all over the place and you wander around and pick them up. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know it is bizarre when you put it that way. <laughs> And it wasn't what I was expecting because I did think that they'd have a field where they were growing them. So, they were laid up. Yeah. There's great big fields, really nice, all the way up a hill of, of rows and rows of lavender. But they'd just put pumpkins all up the lavender fields. It didn't make any sense. 
um so uh, yeah 50 shutterbug says i love pumpkin patches well real ones <laughs> yeah exactly i mean there are some that they there are an actual pumpkin patch and you you go around and you just pick your own what what's that really really <laughs> i'm shocked now i feel bad because i want to keep them <laughs> oh we're not keeping them now we've got loads of bags <laughs> I know. I might keep. I might just get the blue one. I like the blue. No. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, after we had a really long chat with this couple, and we'd finished the jumble trail, we thought let's go to the boot sale just for a walk, because we hadn't been out very long. We're just going mosey around the boot sale over in Hatfield, and we didn't really have much intention on buying much. No, but like we found we, said, a, we didn't even take a bag in. We did there. find a few bits. You found that. Yeah, um, it's not worth very much, is it? But it was 50p, so um, I'll always pick up a camera, and it was practica. So yeah, um, it was worth taking a chance on, but not, is not practica? a good... Practica? That... Did I say practica, or is it practica? I don't know. Neil would know. Neil, yeah. <laughs> Neil would Sport, know. Sport Royale. How fancy. It's not really fancy. Probably a 10, 15 pound camera at best. But the first stall we got to... We both made a beeline for these, didn't we? Um, oh, we just sat yeah. there, just sat there, the end of the boot sale. Three of these. Good evening, Steve. Yes, you are very late. Stand in the corner and uh, think about what you've done. These are Fire King. Um, and just one um, teacup and saucer has sold for £15. So uh, they, we, we paid £2. They've, they've got a pearlescent... Look at that. There you yeah, go. You can see it. they're Moonstone. Really quite striking. Yeah. So, so I've got a set of three uh, with the saucers. So this was, at the end, I would say half of the boot sale had packed up and gone. Right, And the first stall, as you go in the gate, these were sat there for two quid. And we're going to, I mean, they're not big. So what are you going to get about 30 odd quid back on it? No, more than that. Oh, more than that? Yeah. Oh, there's three, isn't there? Yeah, about 45, 50, I reckon. Let's say 50 quid. Let's yeah. Three. We paid two pounds. We'd not been in the boot sale more than 30 seconds. And we were like, oh. I mean, immediately I thought, hmm, they look like Fire King. But, and yeah, but I thought they can't be because they're still sat there. But they are. I'm trying to show you the F there. I have sold the jadeite ones in the past, but I've never had this particular design. But these are so gorgeous. But it's not the best stamp, but there's an F in that shield. Yeah. F in shield. <laughs> um, so we picked up that, and then we wandered along to another stall that wasn't quite packing up and going yet. And they had must if they had one, they must have had like 500 DVDs. There was probably other things there that were money makers. Oh, Jeff and Ellen in the back. But I was drawn to this. Uh, hi, Jeff. Uh, hi. Dance mums. This miserable looking woman. I'm just reading Chris's comment. It, oh, he can't he can't imagine the anxiety I'm having over it. I tell you. <laughs> well, this, Chris. Yeah. Can you imagine wrapping all just the thought of, uh, yeah, and the, the stuff. thought of packing up this house? It's like it's giving me so much anxiety. Yeah. Hello. But it's one of those things that has to happen, so it will happen. If you see what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, it will. We'll do this, it. This is but, why um, next week and maybe the week after we are doing live auctions because we need to shift some stuff in bulk. Yeah. Um. <laughs> We're going to do a preview. We'll talk about that when we finish showing stuff. We're nearly done. So, yeah, this show was a... Where was that area? It was like a... What was it on? What? 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 Where did you see it? What? Where did I where see it? Where was it? This show. <laughs> oh, well, I um, can't remember. <laughs> oh, it was on telly somewhere. It's an American series. It was on telly somewhere. <laughs> That's why I, I don't know. I never watched it. I couldn't stand this miserable woman. <laughs> anyway, upshot is there's a market for Dance Mums DVDs. I got all of those for was it a pound or two pounds? Yeah. Well, Ellen used to watch it for the dancing. She was obsessed with it. 
I think it was a pound in the end. Um, and there's there's some pretty good money there. Um, slim pickings on video games right at the end of a boot sale. <laughs> <Shelly said>. What? <laughs> she says, hello, didn't Nick just say Jeff and Ellen are back and then shouted, hello, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to come in and say hello. He has well, a cone. He did, of... but his yeah. Did he have his cone of shame on? No, I suspect he's going oh, to have it back out. on now. Oh, um, some video games, fifty uh, p for that. It wasn't really worth it. It's about a fiver. And did I get all of these? For no, a we pound? don't have a company packing at the house. We're doing it ourselves. We're packing, but we have a company moving once once we actually book one. Um, some ps3 games for a quid there's nothing really there i'll probably do modern warfare two and three as a pair still no real value i just like picking oh, up the alice games. op says the f in the shield mark is usually federal oh i, I thought it meant fire king yeah maybe it doesn't then. but i've searched these on ebay and they come up as fire king so oh so, we, we so got, that's interesting. Have we got the wrong brand then? Maybe. We're giving out Duff info again. Well, yeah, we do that all the time. <laughs> you spotted this hors d'oeuvre set. It also might, I don't know. That's a crack in the bottom. Anyway. So new in the box. Yeah. A little hors d'oeuvre. That was just 50p as well. Platter. You've got a similar thing you shared in your yeah, hall the other day. I bought, I've got a butter dish. Yeah, 50p right at the end of the boot sale. People were, you know, trying to get rid of stuff by then. This I've had before, um, and I sold it before I had a chance to watch it. It's Stone Roses uh, DVD. So well, it, says it in, may get watched this time before I sell it. Stall says, in his experience, Fire King is marked Fire King. Well, I've... I've I assumed the F was Fire King, to be honest with you. So I've made that mistake. So we're thinking now it's federal. But like I say, that exact pattern was on eBay um, listed as Fire King. So. Um, oh, there's more dance mums. Maybe it was two pounds for everything. I think it might have been two pounds for the lot. Because they were doing them at three for a pound, and I got seven. Yeah, that's it. Everybody's been so helpful. Angela says, when do you move? I'd be panicking about all that packing. I'd have people in to do it. I am panicking about the packing. It'll get done. It what, what are you worried about? And in some ways, I don't actually trust in other people to be packing all of this. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it'll be it'll be stressful, but we'll get it done. It'll be fine. Now, um... oh, so warm. The window's open as well. So we went up to a stall at the boot sale. Remember, we were just going for a wander round. Didn't really expect to buy much, and we said such a thing to a stall holder as we as we rocked up, and then I bought some stuff off her, and then I noticed a crate. They had loads of books, uh, but one crate was full of vintage Agatha Christie. And the lady said that she had bought them all when she got her first job in London. She used to walk around every lunchtime to a bookshop and buy herself an Agatha Christie book in the, I'm guessing, 60s or something or 70s. Um, there's loads. Um if you take a look now at Agatha Christie book bundles, it may surprise you. Um, I'm thinking easily 50 quid's worth I've got here. There's a big stack. They are some of the later ones. So this looks more like 80s, maybe. Let's see if I can find a date in this one. But some really nice early ones in here as well. When's this one? When's this one? Oh, that's a 68 there. Why was I thinking that was 80s? I don't know. Oh, see, my sister used to read these. That rings a bell. I think she may have had that one. Five Little Pigs. 
they're really nice and then look at these covers how cool is that so that's what dates in there um Agatha Christie, 1941. Oh, and a later issue, 1962. So this is a 60s issue. But yeah, really, really nice. There's loads. I don't know how many there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Charlie says, personally, I would clear lots of breakables at the boot and move the non-breakables. <laughs> yeah, we kind of had a similar conversation earlier, didn't we? But I don't think we will. <laughs> what? Because, Sell stuff off the yeah, boot? Yeah, because it would just, we'd just be clearing them for less, so much less money than we could. I've just moved them out of the way. Potentially. I've moved it so I can... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so I can get to the computer. So I think there's probably 50 books here. So we may be looking at more than my original. Uh, look at that. Is that a cool poirot then? maybe an appointment with death look how cool that's got to be poirot isn't it oh it says a poirot detective <laughs> story oh it says it on the other one <laughs> murder at the vicarage oh that's so cool yeah it goes on and on and on i reckon about 50 anyway i paid a fiver um I could look into what they're worth individually, but I don't want to mess around. They will be bundled up. Set my price. Oh, my, I'm pretty sure Alison had that one. That rings a bell. Oh. Hickory Dickory Dock. Cool. Yeah, love these. It goes on and on and on. So this a couple of ladies we were chatting to about, oh, we've only come for a wonder. We don't really need stuff because we're moving house. And then I bought loads of that. <laughs> See, that looks more like an 80s cover to me. The Big Four. 1984. Yeah, okay. So these go from the 60s right the way through to the 80s. Ah, oh, look. They're just so nice. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, just looking at the Big Four. Shouldn't stick around these. I'll list them as a job lot. Get them gone. Yep. Because we, we don't need staff. <laughs> but we've had a very good day on eBay. The Kaching has been kachinging on and off all day. Had a really nice order earlier of um, little angel cards. A set went mm. for 50. That owes us a pound, probably. Yeah. Um, sold a whole bunch of the power rangers now i haven't even listed them all and we sold i'll probably do a pick and orders video tomorrow um oh. right is that all we're sharing i think it might be i think it might be just looking at the chat Ooh. shirley says i love moving I used to move every two years but tom hates it so we've been here for 14 years I still look at right move though, but don't tell Tom. <laughs> right move is addictive, isn't it? it is. Right? Yeah. Every two years? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's a bit much, but <laughs> I don't know if I could manage it every two years. But I'd, yeah, I like moving to a different place. It's the, just the thought of packing all of this stuff up. Yeah, the the reality of it is slowly sinking in for me yeah. that we are. It's a massive upheaval. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've been decluttering cupboards and and all that, but you, you don't realise how much stuff you acu accumulate over the years that you still we, need. <laughs> yesterday we did under the sink, you know that cupboard, yeah. and we we're like putting stuff out. What did I buy this? Did you? What is this? Did you buy this? What's this for? <laughs> um, there was loads of stuff like that. I, I ended up um, taking a bunch of it down to my neighbours. I'm like, we're, we're being ruthless, and I don't want to take any of this with us. Do you want it? And they took some bits and bobs for the garden you know and uh yeah they were very grateful Neil but, says, yeah. right move is the adult version of looking through the argos catalogue at christmas when you were a kid 
Yeah. Oh, thanks, Neil, as well. The money came through. I will get those off to you. They didn't go on Friday in the end, so they will go out tomorrow, the CDs. Uh, thanks for that. Um, I once bought a boo. Book. Maybe. Hi, Fauna. Hello. I once bought a book, shall we go with? From a chat. What are you doing with your last letters here? What's going on? <laughs> From a charity shop to do a custom customer book fold which sold for 45 pounds turned out the book would have been worth 60 plus had no idea huh to do a book fold oh where you turn the edges remember we oh, had that lovely yeah. gift once yeah. was that who was that from was that it wasn't from no i can't remember who that came from Isn't that terrible <laughs> sorry good evening kenneth hope you are well mate yeah, it will go out tomorrow, Neil. Thanks again. Um, try packing. Oops, sorry, Neil. Uh, try packing a three-bed house and moving on to a fifty-eight-foot narrow boat. Yeah. Well, the couple that we were talking to today, they've got a massive house and they're moving into a small two-bedroom. So they were really trying to clear stuff. Well, he said it's they're, they're leaving a six-bed and going to a two-bed. Although he did admit the bed the house is the same size, so oh, there okay. must be massive bedrooms. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what he said. It's a similar size, but only two bedrooms. I was like, what? But they're going to the Isle of Man. Mm. Yeah, very nice. I need to blow my nose. So we mentioned earlier auction. We are going to do an auction preview at some point during the week. There will be reselling stuff in it, and there will be bundles of stock um one for as an example i will share with you in a second just to give you an idea but there will be a whole range of stuff that we just need to move for whatever it goes for um there should be a chance to get some real bargains um one which i think are really cool but we just never got around to listing it i'm just going to reply to Teresa. um no it's coffee um it's going a bit cold now but um no i don't drink peachy chips i have the clipper um decaffeinated ones because they're not they don't have nasty chemicals in them and yeah i like clipper so there's going to be a bit of something for everybody in this it's not all going to be um and, uh, still says problem is fauna nick doesn't know his boots from his books <laughs> no this is true <laughs> um so one of the lots is going to be uh all of these italian leather shoes which we have never got round to dealing with. They are absolutely gorgeous. There's one for an example. This is a Ferragamo. Yeah. It felt it felt a, like a really good find when we got these. And it was like, got them for about 20 pounds, I think, for the lot. But they've just never got listed. They've just never and... got there are there are some good value in I think there's two or three makes in here. But we thought we're just going to, we're not going to get them listed before we move. We're going to let somebody else deal with them. I mean, but the work in these is phenomenal. They've got these really cool vintage shoe shapers in that. Um, yeah, all came from the, the one lady previous owner. <laughs> and they're all fine Italian leather shoes. So this is just an example. We're just going to sell these starting at a pound. If that's what they sell for, they will. Um, plus the shipping. Yeah, Lisa's so these Ferragamo are awesome. Yeah, I was really excited when I found them. They just um, haven't been dealt with. And we are going to move some stuff on because we don't have the inclination to list it. We don't want to take it with us. And if somebody gets a real bargain and makes loads of money out of it, that's fine too. It's just going to go. Yeah. So there's another example. Look at this. This is really soft, nice leather all leather soles it's one of those things that i just kept putting off and putting off and now now we yeah so i just need to clear them that will be one lot for example which will go under the hammer next week if you are interested there will be a whole load of vintage clothes as well because we thought we'd cleared out all of our vintage clothes but our daughter bought a big um bulk vintage yeah lot. that was during the pandemic with the intention of selling it on Depop, and she did sell some stuff through, but then she just lost interest pretty much. That's fair to say, right? Yeah. So we still have it. It wasn't really her thing. I think she was hoping the clothes are going to be good. Yeah, so she, she spent was... quite a lot of money on it, 
but we're now just going to let it go starting at a pound and we'll show what's in that we need to sort it out yes so that's a couple um, of examples there is something for everybody it's not all shoes and clothing but yeah, we're going to get rid of some stuff and we're going to do it. Should we? We're doing it in this slot next week. Yeah, yeah I think so. So what are we thinking Wednesday for like a preview? Yeah, I guess so. We will put out a, I guess we'll do it live so people can ask questions as well. Once we've sorted out all of the lots, we, we will do a, a schedule a live for maybe Wednesday. So we can people preview it. Bidding on. <laughs> no bidding yet no no we're not selling them tonight we're going to do a preview to give everybody a fair chance to have a look you can do your research because we are aware we're selling to resellers and you're going to want to hopefully make profit on this stuff you can do your research and set your price and then come back and bid on the sunday yeah. so for example with those shoes you might say i'm prepared to spend 20 quid on them you can do your research in the meantime once we've shown them all Come back on Sunday, have a bid. How it's going to work will be we'll share our PayPal address, address, email address, yes. And once the bidding ends, pay immediately and then we'll move on. We clear some stuff. Hopefully you get some bargains. Job done. Yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Um, there's all sorts. I don't know. Have you finished the haul? Haul? Yeah, oh, I think we finished the haul. Because I've been sitting here waiting to show my egg Oh, cobblers. I thought we'd finished the haul. <laughs> I bought a pair of um, egg cobblers. Obviously, we Worcester ones, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, it's that, Steve. That would have been so much easier to carry than the last lot of shoes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've squeezed them in your car, didn't we? A hundred pairs of shoes in boxes. Um, oh, sorry. Hi, hi, Rich. Where was that? I was trying to click on. Will there be any Doctor Who or Stranger Things? I don't think we have any of that to, no, to clear. No. no, there'll be all sorts of bits and bobs, but uh, we will get everything together, do a live stream at some point during the week, as I said. So keep your eyes peeled for that and then have a look through and pick a couple of lots that maybe you want to have a bid on and we'll sell it all off. No reserve. It will all go next Sunday. Uh, that's the plan. Yeah. Right. Oh, I didn't share. Did you share? Yeah, then I wasn't. Really yeah, I did. I did. Just, yeah, just now. I picked up Briefly. a Pink, Pink Floyd album, uh, "The Endless River" for fifty p. I've had it before and didn't really have a proper listen, so I wanted to uh, pick that up again when I saw it for fifty p. Maybe a keeper, depending how, on how much I like it or not. Um, oh, and I grabbed this because it was 50p, but I already own it. It's a brilliant album. It is a brilliant album. Um, and if you saw his Glastonbury set, or if you didn't see his Glastonbury set, should I say, then watch it on the iPlug because it was brilliant. Yeah. With, with, with Scissor Lady. <laughs> <laughs> de, 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 de. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If you know Noel Gallagher. If you know, you know. Uh, yeah. So we normally wrap these up around now and we share words of wisdom. Not our words of wisdom, but yours. So if you have any, now's your chance to put them in. And we will share some and pick our favourite. Um. <clears throat> Looking out for Kate Bush cassette tapes. Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Well, she she had her number one, didn't she? Um, is it in the UK or worldwide? I don't know. It's it's huge it in everywhere. The UK. I don't know how, how she did in America. I imagine it did quite well in America. Yeah. Well, the last episode we saw, I don't want to give anything away, but it, but it all went a bit heavy metal. Was it Metallica they were playing? I don't know, actually. Was that Metallica? I'm not really sure. No. <laughs> but it was, yeah, I wonder if that's going to start trending now. Um, yeah, anything Kate Bush. Um, I put out a video on my music channel, a Kate Bush little compilation I made, and that has gone... Whew, it's gone a bit nuts. Um, right, so, yes, if you have any... What's this? Is this a word of wisdom coming in? Politicians and nappies should be changed often 
and for exactly the same reason. Oh my God, that's good. And what reason would that be? Because they're full of. Are they full of? Yeah. Are they? No. Um, oh, you are late. We're wrapping up, Porkies. Sorry. Have you got any words of wisdom? Um, oh, it's just jumped. The, there's one. Enjoy every breath. It could be your last. Wow, that's 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 quite morbid. <laughs> Don't bring the tone down. Thanks for that, PVP. <laughs> um, three grand for a Kate Bush vinyl. Seriously, the placebo cover is very good. Yes, Master of Puppets, Metallica. You were right then. Was that what it was? I'm not. It's not really my field of expertise. Right. Well, that would that would make sense for the context, I guess. Yeah, it? it would. Yeah. Yeah. An app is for life, not just for summer. It's true. Well, let's, we hope so. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't take a lifetime to finish. That's what it's felt like. Honestly, it, it's been. I am so in inside it. I can't really see it for what it is anymore. I can't be objective about it mm. it's really mm. difficult to to it was interesting earlier we yeah. were watching because ellen had it on um an interview with 21 pilots and he was saying i don't know when to stop you know he doesn't know when to, a song is finished mm -hmm. and he can just release it to the world yeah he, he keeps working on it working on it and i thought it that just reminded me of of you and and this. yeah well the, there certainly was a bit of that and we've been learning as we're we've been going we have given up on getting everything right we just need to get it right enough yeah um it's never going to be perfect anyway no, we need we need be... to get it out and then continue to work on exactly. it exactly it'll be tweaked and changed we, we have a time. list of things we need finished and working once they're done it's it's going to be launched regardless and then we'll continue to work on it um mm -hmm. we are launching the social media imminently we're not sure exactly when there's going to be a separate YouTube channel so we can talk about the app and not clog this channel up with just banging on about the app and what it does and how it works. So there's going to be a separate YouTube channel, which used to be the quiz channel, which is still active. Um, that's going to be turned into a channel all about the app. It's going to be a Facebook group so you can come on and talk about it and get involved. Um, Instagram, TikTok even, because we're young and trendy. We're going to be on there <laughs> prattling on about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do have a TikTok, by the way. What do you do if on there? If anyone's on TikTok. <laughs> What's what all... do I do on there? I, I post TikToks. Dancing? <laughs> no, it's all, <laughs> it's all to do with thrifting. Um, okay, let's carry on with words of wisdom. Because we're way behind now. Stu is in. Hello, Stu. Hanging a blackboard on the wall will, inst will instantly make any room look more classy. <coughs> will it? <laughs> Don't you get it? No. Oh, oh yes. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. I heard that penny drop. It was very loud. <laughs> Slow on the uptake. Very good, Stu. He's here all night. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went to a car boot in 2017. <coughs> Can you bought, read? Bought that? a book for four quid and sold it for five grand. <coughs> Wowzers. Five grand? Wow. That sounds like our Atari cartridge moment. That does. We sold an Atari cartridge for five grand. Uh, never worry about anything as it's a waste of time and things will work out the way they do not how you want them to be it's very true yes mitch it's i hear you true. uh vic put some wax on the tracks and slide on out of here 87 internet points for the first one to get the band track put some wax on the tracks slide on out of here i don't know that no i don't nope i don't know if anyone else has put the answer in uh laney hello happiness is a perfume you cannot pour on others without getting a few drops on yourself <gasps> love that where'd you where'd you nick that from laney <laughs> uh let it be yeah 
from or just adamant <laughs> adamant is that the the lyric oh, maybe it probably is yeah or is it just a word of wisdom adamant <laughs> Well, you know, I'll just throw Adamant in there. <laughs> I'm assuming it's uh, this. Yeah. This was an Adamant song, was it? I don't recognise awesome. it at all, but maybe it is. Uh, Shelley says, "A wise man <laughs> once said, don't buy egg coddlers when about to move.' Yeah, we're not saying we're wise. <laughs> We've never claimed intelligence or wisdom. No. Well, clearly, I'm not very wise because I thought these were Fire King and they're. Apparently not. So, um, you know. So maybe you... I, I learn and make the mistakes and then I tell you so you don't have to. <laughs> so it goes. If your outgoings are greater than your income, your upkeep will be your downfall. Wow. Oh, yes. Excellent. Oh, Lee Stellini says, take more cash to the car boot than you think you need. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That is very wise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a good idea is a good idea forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, always be kind to the people that appreciate you. They are worth more than gold. Yes. I prefer that one to your other one. <laughs> um, strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. Yeah. I like that. And I think the, I think that's what I do strive for in life, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Quite, it's quite deep. It's quite yeah, I like deep. that. That's my favorite so far. Never be late. Well, a few a few latecomers could could uh, yeah, well, take yeah, take some advice. Well, we can't really speak. We, we were late. We were late. Uh, yeah. I like fauners. I've that's one of my favorite quotes. You never lose. You either win or learn. Yeah. Profound. <laughs> I know, we're only joking. It's fine. Um, instead of cleaning your house, just move to a new one. <laughs> you well. Except for the fact you've got to move everything out of it and then clean it. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we did. Uh, I said earlier we we tackled the under the sink cupboard. It's quite an experience when you do that. And then you cleaned it. I did clean it's it. It's never been that clean probably since <laughs> since we moved in. Since no, we put... well, it wasn't there when we moved in. But since we put it in, our kitchen. I don't know if we shared this before. The kitchen in this house that we are selling in situ, we bought the, the whole kitchen on eBay. Somebody was upgrading their kitchen, having a new fancy kitchen put in, in, in St. Albans. And they put their, the contents of the kitchen they were taking out on eBay. And I won it. Hired a van, went and picked it all up and installed it in our house. <laughs> we made it fit. And... It looks pretty good, to be fair. It still looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, it needed finishing off. So I did all the finishing <laughs> off jobs just before we sold it. And we, we put the kitchen in, what, 10, think, 10 years ten, ago? Yeah, about 10 years ago, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how it goes, right? You, you do all the jobs in your house that need doing just before you sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your glass is always half full. It's a good sentiment. Oh, <laughs> can you read that one? Um, yeah, keep buying stuff. The sellers may have more to sell or even give away. I'm not sure what that means, but we do keep buying stuff. <coughs> <laughs> ah. uh, Candice says, um, never underestimate the power of networking while sourcing. Well, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, getting to know people, getting to know contacts. We've never actually been very good at that. We, we are fundamentally quite shy. I know it doesn't come across that way <coughs> because we're here talking to lots of people at once, but out in the real world, we are relatively shy and we don't actually do very well making contacts. Um, yeah. We kind of have a lot of acquaintances in the reselling world, but have struggled making contacts, haven't we? It's an interesting one. Um. The only person who only has your back is yourself. So just be you and do what you want to do, not what others tell you to do. Yes, I'm with you. Um, oh, there's loads coming in. These are great. Give a toddler a tissue. They will wipe their own nose. Show a toddler where the tissues are. They will take enough tissues to last a lifetime. I sound like you're talking from experience. <laughs> wow. Uh... 
Uh, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Oh, I need to write that down. Shall we end on that one? Maybe we should. Yeah. Um, that is so apt with the struggle, and it has been a struggle, developing this app. We take we took on way more than we could chew. Uh, we we initially this is hilarious. Now we initially hoped to launch last October. I think it was. Um, yeah. yeah, the easiest way to fail is to give up. That's something that I have in my head. I all am the just time. going to highlight Adrian's as well, though, because um, that's kind of in keeping and and yeah, totally. Every okay. accomplishment starts with the decision to try. Yeah. Yeah, that one goes very well with this one. Yeah. Having the courage to try something that perhaps is bigger than you. And that that certainly was when we started this journey of being app developers, knowing nothing about how to develop an app. Sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud. Um, yeah. And now we're taking on developing a, an Airbnb. <laughs> oh, we must a, be insane. It's quite daunting. but Well, I was chatting to Lee earlier, Lee Cola Flipper. And I said to him, my timing is hilarious because, because the app's been delayed this long and we have now sold our house and are imminently moving, you just know that the launch and moving is going to happen at the same time. Because as soon as it's ready, we're launching, right? Yeah. And it's just going to coincide. So we'll probably have no internet and have all of our stuff in storage boxes and piled everywhere and be trying to, you know, run a very complicated launch. But that's life and the law of sod will dictate that's what's going to happen <laughs> um so yes we are going to end on uh, adrian and Teresa's little comments because they yeah. complement each other so well sorry if we didn't read yours out um there's so many and so many good ones uh save them for next week and we will do it all again then um so next week yes we are going to do a live auction here in this time slot there will be a preview of all the stuff we are going to be clearing, including that box of amazing Italian leather shoes. Um, so check out the preview. We'll do that. Should we stick with Wednesday? I think so. Yeah. What so, time? Eight o'clock. Are we going to do it live then? Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. So a live preview, uh, probably eight o'clock Wednesday is the plan currently, and life, less life gets in the way. So you can have a chance to research, decide if you want to have a bid on anything, and then we will do all the actual bidding this time slot next Sunday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I think we are done. Yes. Are, are you making the app or a company? Uh, both. It is a company. We have set up a company to develop the app. We are in partnership with our business partner and we are developing an app and it is an app company. Oh, um, I like that, Moira. I think that's Moira. Um, well, I'm well, not shy. Mm. I'm holding back my awesomeness so that it doesn't intimidate others. <laughs> wow. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the haul. We will be live again Wednesday uh, to preview all the stuff we're going to be clearing out next week. We will hopefully see you then. Yeah. Um, yeah. And keep your eyes peeled for the social media for the app, which will be launching soon. Uh, we would greatly appreciate everyone's support when we launch. Uh, it's going to be it's actually called. Are we going to reveal what it's called yet? I suppose so. Oh, uh, we could yeah. do. Well, we'll end on that. Uh, it's. Let me get the little official artwork that we finished. Is it? Have you got it on your phone? I've probably got it on my phone. Have you got the final one with the wording underneath it? Should do. Well, it, we'll leave you on this a little teaser. <laughs> and there's a word in it which is quite important. Sorry, I've got to go through. Bear with <laughs> millions of pictures of stock. Bear with <laughs> before I get to it. You're, you're terrible at clearing out your phone, aren't you? Yeah, bear with. Uh, chat amongst yourselves. Whilst... Oh, I might not have saved it to my phone. I've got it in my phone. I? Um, oh, it's probably, I sent it to your messenger, so it'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Um, but yeah, we have changed that slightly since. 
Okay. It now has a the in in. We have been working on the uh, artwork and everything. It now everything. says the community thrifting app. So. <laughs> That is going to be the app button. That's our symbol. You know, every app has a little symbol. Yeah. Um, that jointly is the created by you and Ellen. Yeah. The community thrifting app. The community part is going to be key. Um, it will need all of us to pull together to make this as good as it can be and helpful for everybody. The whole point of this is it's going to help me help make all of our lives a little bit easier. Um. That's the idea in a nutshell, uh, the details of which will be coming once we launch all of the social media. Um, and we'll leave you on that. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for Bye, being here. Everybody. We do appreciate it. We'll see, see you, you soon. Wednesday.